Today's the greatest day I've ever known. Can't wait for... Oh, are we... Sorry, I was just singing um, Smashing Pumpkins. What? Did you just judge me? Did you just judge me for listening to rock music and listening to Smashing Pumpkins? Don't judge, least you be judged, sucker. Gotcha. Matthew 7, 1. The next passage in our most misused verses of the Bible. Do not judge, least you be judged. This passage is used so often today in our culture as kind of this get out of anything free card. Anytime you get judged for something, you just know that verse. Everybody knows that verse. That's the most popular verse today. What does that verse really mean though? Do not judge, least you be judged. Well, first of all, it has meaning. Don't go, don't, don't go to the other side. It has meaning. Don't judge people, least you want to be judged. The verse goes on and says, by the same manner that you judge, you will also be judged. And then even further, remember context, even further it says, first, take the log out of your own eye so you can remove the speck in your brother's eye. There's, there's ways in which we go about judging people. Of course we're supposed to make judgments. We make judgments about everything. Every single day we make judgments. Judgments are just simply discernment. It's being smart. It's, it's, it's evaluating a situation and trying to place that situation in an accurate way. This is what we have to do. I don't know what scientists say, but I bet you if there was some study on how many judgments we make per second, it would be something like 30, 100. I don't know, but that's all we do is judge every day. Judge things, judge people. Judge, we, we have to judge while driving. We have to judge other driver, drivers and their manner of driving. So we can't go without judging. Everybody must judge, but there's certain parameters in which we are to judge. The first parameter is this. Do not judge hypocritically. First, take the problem, the huge problem, out of your own eye so that you can look at somebody else and help them with their own problem. If you've got massive problems in your life, you are not gonna be discerning, you're not gonna be wise, you're not gonna be able to see how to help somebody through a problem that they may be having. That's number one. Number two, we are to judge in a way that is humble. In other words, we don't judge self-righteously. I don't look at somebody who has problems in their lives, who has sins in their lives, and say, man, if I was in their shoes, I'd be completely different. You don't know that. I mean, the old saying, you haven't walked in their shoes before. Uh, that, that's a great saying, it really is, in this context. You haven't walked in their shoes. And if you had walked in their shoes, guess what? You would be exactly like them. They are the way they are because they have gone through certain things, because they have a certain personality. That is the way that it is. We can't judge anybody. We can't make a statement of judgment that is a statement of judgment outside of complete humility. That's number two. Number three is this, and this is spoken of in Romans. Paul speaks of this whenever he says, God is their judge. Whenever you look at somebody and you see them doing something that the Bible doesn't say anything about, listen to Smashing Pumpkins, listen to rock music, the Bible doesn't say anything about that. But you want to make a judgment. That's outside of the parameters of your ability to judge. It's not in the Bible whether or not to listen to rock music. Therefore, you cannot judge others for things the Bible doesn't speak about. Those are the three things and ways in which we are not to judge. 
but we are to judge outside of those things. Once we have those things down, once we are judging with humility, once we are judging with things that we know that are, are wrong in the Bible, and once we are not judging hypocritically, we are able to judge. We have that log out of our own eye, and we're able to see clearly enough to help people, other people. And let me tell you something, judgments will go a lot easier. People will respond a lot better. They won't always respond, of course. And they are still gonna come up with Matthew 7, 1 and say, don't judge me. But this is the way in which we as Christians are to go about judging people.